All right, mark your calendars. You have just about 363 days to train for Bloomsday 2010. But how would you feel if you knew no matter how hard you trained, you wouldn't get much faster? Tonight, we want to know why are some people just faster than others? KXY 4's Melissa Luck answers that in tonight's Good Question. Oh, they make it look so easy. The Kenyans once again dominating the Bloomsday race, never breaking stride even when heading up the dreaded Doomsday Hill. While the rest of us struggle just to keep the pace with last year's time. If you trained and hoped for a personal best this year only to be disappointed, we understand. The elite runner is some of the best in the world and then you have the other 49,900 people that are, that are just out to have fun. Dr. PZ Pierce trains and studies world-class athletes and weekend warriors. We asked, why are some people just faster than others? That's a great question. Thanks, Dr. Pierce. Maybe we'll rename the segment. But back to the question. Basically, you have two muscle fiber types. There's type 1 red slow twitch fiber. There's type 2 white fast twitch fiber. And everyone is a combination of those two fiber types. Here's what that means. People with type 1 red fiber are generally slower, but can run longer distances because they burn fat. People with type 2 white fiber can generally run fast, but not for a long time because you're burning sugar instead of fat. You're born with it, and there's nothing you can do to change it. Your potential is really genetic. And uh, I've always said great athletes are born, they're not made. And some are made better than others. The top nine men yesterday, all Kenyans. You know, and a lot of people say, well, the Kenyans are fast because they, they run everywhere. And uh, that's not true. They run everywhere because they can. And it's a certain group of Kenyans with a very distinct advantage. They're genetic mutants. They have type two fiber, a lot of type two fiber because they're very fast. Their type 2 fiber actually can burn fat. So they can run entire marathons at bloomsday speeds without the painful buildup of lactic acid. But the dominance of the Kenyans may soon be over. It's an incredible genetic gift. The really, really interesting thing is their children will not be as fast as they are because they are traveling around the world and they're intermarrying with people that don't have that genetic gift. Does that mean my son, who finished his first Bloomsday in 2 hours and 21 minutes, could beat these Kenyans someday? Probably not, but maybe his great-grandkids will have a shot. With this good question, I'm Melissa Luck, KXOY4 HD News. And we love to know what you're wondering about. No subject is off limits. Just send your questions to goodquestion at kxly.com.